Hey, Kevin Chakras and I are here to discover the food and culture, the people of Banjama Sen. We're hoping to also unlock some of the secrets of their cuisine. So Kevin, yeah. this is called Mama Itik, Mama Itik, itik. itik Baik Gambut. What that means basically, it is duck. Because it's very close to Malaysia, the duck is called Itik. Bu, apa itu? Ada habang ya? Ya. Yeah. Bumbu merah. Terus ini ada babek ya? Babek, ini apa ikan ya? Ikan gabus. Okay. So basically, this place is really, really famous and I've actually been here before. I came with uh, Bondan, it's an amazing uh, journalist as well as a TV presenter. How long has this, been, this place been here? It's been 32, 32 years. And again, you know, this is what I love about Warung food. It's just got heritage. You want fish or just stick with the duck? Yeah, let's stick with famous. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, what we have is she's brought over the habang itik and then she's also brought over one other dish which is basically curry itik but it's in principle it's uh, opor it's the same ingredients let the games begin what do we start first what do you think i reckon go with yeah. that one that is cooked but it's delicious but tender but it is tender it is tender it's interesting that people when we cook people look at it in a very very different way yeah oh, the way that I cook, which is not so much about the the the, the protein. Sure. We put the sambal with it, and that, and that just lifts the whole thing up again. Does, no, it's, it is the personality of the dish. Because, I mean, no one is saying how good the rice is. No. <laughs> I mean, right? I mean, the sambal is, it's, I mean, it's the choir. It's interesting with Indonesian food, or any Asian food. You get a dish as it is, very tasty, a little bit sweet. Yeah. But you layer it with the sambal, it takes on a whole nother profile. Doesn't it? And that's where I think the difference between Western cooking and Asian cooking, especially Indonesian, it's about layering. Mm. And if you don't understand the basics of the layering, how can you layer something if you don't know what the basics are from the beginning and where it came, and where from. It came from? So again, you know, it's very important. History is sort of taught through food. And I think when you look at food in general, you always learn about the history. Yeah. And you'll always see a, where a culture has yeah. come from, um, from its cuisine. You'll never see it through people's faces. No. But you'll see it in the food. So basically, um, we'll finish off this, and I think we've got somewhere, a couple other places to go. Mm. And we'll check out them. So to step aside from the main city, we've gone into the backwaters of Banja Masin and we've ended up in an amazing place like this. And what is very, very famous in this area is in how they've sustained themselves. Yeah, life on the river. Uh, life on the river, and here you see a perfect example of that. So these people are making little types of snacks, things like and kue, crispy like snacks. Nama siapa? Itu? Kue, kue, kue roko, yeah. This is like, Cigarette kue, yeah, which of course is very well known in Indonesia. Everyone has to smoke to communicate. Berapa tahun apa kampung di sini? Lama. Lama ya. Emperatus Libya. Wow. Pak, makasih ya. So what he said is that this area has been around for more than over 400 years in this kampung, and originally it would have been wood and very very simple. Yeah. But today, obviously, the building materials and everything for these types of accommodation are whatever is cheap, whatever is available, whatever they can find. Um, life begins here. You see the Ibu Ibus here hanging out. Bye! Ibu! That guy there, and I was speaking to him as well, was saying that he is actually Javanese and he moved over here and married a Banjar woman. People used to come and work uh, in major cities like this and they would come here with nothing, just themselves and then they would intermarry and create their own family, which then starts communities. It's all about trading. You can see it's obviously started with the riverways being the only form of transport to get their products to sale. From there, communities were built. This place has so much history and we're only able to get a snapshot of it. I'm looking forward to come back on my next adventure and discover more of this wonderful city.